Perry and I'm a cyber psychologist and I wanted to talk to you about an interesting phenomenon in the behavioral sciences and it's called the bystander effect and it's actually based on a famous murder that happened in New York in the 1960s, the Kitty Genovese murder. And what it means is that if you have a lot of people that witness an emergency or crime, the greater the number of people present, the less likely it is that somebody will intervene. It's a sort of diffusion or spreading of responsibility. Everybody thinks that somebody else is going to act. The interesting part is that the bystander effect also applies online. Now, what does this mean? Well, in the case of cyberbullying, you could have somebody making nasty comments or posts on somebody's wall on a social networking site. And hundreds of their friends could see the posting but not do anything about it. So what we want to talk about now is countering the effect of the bystander effect. And that means stepping up and doing something if you see negative content. We always talk about lots of negative behaviours online, but there are positive things too, like support, empathy and altruism, reaching out to help people in a selfless way. So, don't be a bystander, do something. And that doesn't mean bully the bully or escalate the situation. It just means flag up content that's not appropriate and most importantly, reach out to the person who's being bullied and offer them support.